What's up guys, Blue Lego 22 and today I'm reviewing a Lego Imperial Star Destroyer. This set is came out recently around Christmas time and this is this thing's just massive, okay? I just want to clarify. Now, you may notice that this isn't exactly the set. Now, I have made my own modifications to make it, in my opinion, more like it was in the movie. But before I, before I get to anything else, I want to show a really cool angle on this. So hold on. Yeah, this is a very good angle of the Star Destroyer. Of course, you can't see a lot of gaps in the middle, but it's Lego, so it can't be perfect. But this is, I think, the coolest view. So, let's get on to the inside. Now, as most of the LEGO Star Destroyers have gone, well, you, you usually open it by moving something in the middle. So, we'll do that in just a minute, but first I want to show some of the exterior aspects. First, you may notice this right here. Well, this is a handle that comes up. You can lift it with one finger. Now, like I said, this thing is massive. It's really heavy. So, if you were going to use this hook to um, hang it from a ceiling, you would probably need it to be very strong. Now, up here at the bridge, you can see that it's pretty small. So, there isn't any real interior. Because you can't really fit anything in there. Um, here, here, here's the back, the engine area, and I think they just did a beautiful job of capturing this. Even though it's not seen that much in the movie, I still think they did a great job of capturing it. Now, this does open to reveal something that has to do with the set, two of these, um, shots, these things that you shoot, spring-loaded shot pieces, those are two extra ones, but... Uh, since I modified it, I took those out, the actual blasters. So if you want to see those, you will have to see someone else's review. But this is my own personal review of my own modified version. Now you may notice that I'm not really getting it on camera. Well, it's kind of hard to move this thing around and I am holding the camera up since I have to capture the whole thing, so sorry about that. Now right here you will see the iconic um, turrets. Now these can be moved by hand or if you come over here, you can pull this and move them all at once. It's a very nice mechanism in there. Same for the other side. Um, it does have a lot of nice detail on the outside, especially in this um in the superstructure. So I really appreciate all the detail that the designer has accomplished in this set. You may not be able to notice it, but in in the superstructure and different gaps there are um clear pieces that represent windows. So Thing, the turrets come along with it and you can see the gap right here where the where the bridge was attached well not attached it just slid in there so I'm just gonna move this off to the side and you can see that there's a small gap and you can't really look inside with it well that's what this is for yeah these big plates just fold open and really expand the size of this. Now, of course, it doesn't look that all that great, but you know what? It, it, it's all right because you're not supposed to focus on that. You're supposed to focus on the inside. Now, right here in the f up in the front, the set did have a little 
and a catwalk right here that represented the catwalk that Vader iconically kind of struts down um, in the bridge, but of course there was no space for that in the actual bridge, so they just slapped it right on it in here, but I removed it and put a prison holding cell and a stormtrooper to guard it. And then just a random computer thing, think computer things just in random places make things look fancy. <gasps> Sign Probably won't come apart very easily, and it was very fun to build that, this little area right here, because I thought it resembled E.T. With the head being here, and kind of like the body, and then these other star pieces are not connected with the same. I thought that was really funny, but I don't think that was intentional. And then over here, now the real set, it, it didn't really have much of an interior. It had over here a small rotatable platform with a hologram and that's it over here and then on this side just a small weapons rack. Yeah not very impressive so I did my best with did my best and did whatever I could with this space. So you have a few um computers in different areas. This is kind of like an armory Sort of. So you have like extra armor for stormtroopers, some weapons here. And this stormtrooper does not have his white torso on. He's still got a black shirt, so he's gonna pick that up along with a helmet. And these, the troopers in the set, there were only two, but I added some of my own. But the two in the set just have regular, um, average, uh, angry clone faces. And the set also comes with a new, newer Darth Vader. Because it's, it has printed legs and the torso print is a little different. But, of course, this is my own modified version of the Star Destroyer, so... Won't really show much of the actual figures. It also came with two Imperial workers, which I did not put here. And I did add a wall here. There wasn't a wall before. It was just open. And I put a little door. I tried to fit in a blast door, but it didn't really fit. Um, over here you have a computer. This, this piece I, I really like. This piece right here that is a printed trans blue, not not printed, it's a sticker on a trans, 1x4x3 trans blue window piece, and it's a Death Star plan, sort of. So I like to use that a lot, and I just put it right there. And that's really it for the interior. And that's really it for the whole thing. Of course, this is a very nice set. I enjoyed putting it together, and I en I just enjoy it. Now, I've had this for quite some time. I'm not as exactly sure how long, but I know much longer than most other sets. So that really says something about how cool this is. Really says that this thing's so cool, I haven't taken it apart yet. Of course, I've removed some things that I felt didn't really look good on it. So, hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to check the description for special references, jokes, and other things I'll put in in the future. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. And tell me what you thought. Talk to and I will do an, the next video will be coming out very soon. Have a nice day.